guys, welcome to my school morning routine 2020. This video has been so requested so I really hope you enjoy. So I actually don't wake up until about 7 o'clock in the morning which is actually not giving myself much time considering that I have to leave for school at like 10 past 8. So when I am awake I don't spend too much time actually sitting in bed, I just will quickly have a drink, go on my phone and of course take out my retainer and that is pretty much all I do before I get up to start my day. Once I do finally decide to get out of bed, the first thing I do is make my bed because if I don't make my bed at this point in the morning, I literally just will not make it. Like, it's either now or never. So I really try to do this, although I will be honest, sometimes I don't do it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. My bed's actually really easy to make, just because of how it like sticks out from the wall, it makes it so easy. But I spend so long organising like my cushions and stuff because, you know, I want it to look cute. So the next thing is breakfast time, because that is just like the key part, you know what I mean? And although I did only have cereal today, not pancakes or something fancy, it's just important and I can't feel awake until I've had my breakfast and my morning cup of tea or coffee, so that's what I did next. So obviously then I just sit down and have my Rice Krispies or whatever it is that I'm having for breakfast that day and this is when I also write my to-do list and can I just say like to-do list is literally the most important thing about my day to me because as soon as I've got it all laid out in front of me what I need to do I'm so much more likely to do it and it helps me be really really productive so if I've got one recommendation for you all to do I would say do a to-do list, it's really worth it and you'll see a huge change. So then when I'm just like finished having my breakfast and I feel like I'm ready to start my day, the next thing I do is go upstairs and get showered. I don't wash my hair because that takes way too long in the morning but a quick shower definitely helps me feel way more refreshed and ready for my day and oh my god what am I doing right now that is so embarrassing. So then after my quick little morning shower I put on a ton of moisturiser because I have the most driest skin and it's really annoying and this is something I normally wouldn't include in a morning routine because we all like to pretend that our lives are perfect online but you know let's be real. So then it's time to get changed and I normally lay out my clothes the day before just to save time but I wore this blue cute shirt which I decided to tie up because je suis trendy and some black jeans as well. So then it's time to do my hair and can we first just acknowledge how long it took for me to take my hair out of that scrunchie. It literally took so long but my hair was a big mess so I had to give it you know, a little shake out or whatever. And then I decided in terms of like styling my hair, all I was going to do is just give it a brush because the day before I had it curly so that left me with some kind of like, like big waves I guess. So I thought wavy hair is kind of the one, you know? So I did put in this cute little like pearly hair grip and then I put in my earrings and then I decided, you know, the earrings are cute and the hair grip's cute but not together so I took out the grip because I'd already put my earrings, you know how I be? And next was putting on makeup. So firstly I've got to get all my makeup out because I keep it in my wardrobe so it's more tidy, I don't know. And if you want a full makeup routine, let me know but I will give you a quick walk through with it now. So doing this made me realise I put on way more makeup than I think I put on but anyway I start with a primer which I then rub into my face and the next thing I do is my foundation which I do my foundation most days because I'm very pale so foundation kind of helps with that. So I blend it in with a beauty blender and then I also use a brush just so it's like super blended. 
Next I do my eyebrows, so I brush them with a little eyebrow brush first off to get them in shape and then I fill them in with brow pomade and a little eyebrow brush and let me tell you I always do them like bigger than what I'm meant to do so after I've done that I always have to kind of go back and reshape them with some concealer which is a step which is so unnecessary but I always feel like I've got to do it so then I blend in the concealer and I also do my rest of my face concealer which I pretty much just put under my eyes and also like around my nose because sometimes my nose gets red I don't even know I also do normally use a setting powder mainly under my eyes because otherwise my foundation and my concealer just won't set and then I do a bronzer and I use bronzer as contour as well rather than putting on like bronzer and contour and then I also use my bronzer on my eyelids as eyeshadow I saw like someone does this like Kylie Jenner or someone I don't know I definitely copied someone with that and then I also do use my bronzer to contour my nose and then now I'm just like wiping off my powder. I use blush literally every day because I love blush so much and I always put too much on so then I have to blend it in. And then I do my mascara which is obviously like one of the key things I do pretty much every day and I put quite a lot on but you know like it's just mascara, no biggie. And finally I add a lip gloss. So then all that's really left to do is basically pack my school bag so I just have to make sure I've got everything I need like my folder with all my sheets in it and my little cute notebook which is you know really cute and then I have to zip up my bag which apparently is very difficult if you can tell you know yes ah not great she'll get there give her a minute give her a minute So then I pretty much do always go on my phone right before I leave because I usually have a couple of minutes to spare. However, today in specific, I was making sure that my morning routine TikTok was ready to post. So if you want to see the TikTok I made, which is basically a miniature version of this video, go over to my TikTok, Lou, because I honestly post so many TikToks, so you don't want to miss out on those. There's my TikTok self promo and while we're at it you may as well follow my instagram else.exo and while we're at it you may as well follow my twitter else underscore louise which i don't know how to use and then i just put my shoes on and basically i'm ready to go so it's literally just a case of breaking my nail while trying to put my shoes on And then pretty much I'm like ready to go so all I have to do is pop on my shoes and my teddy bear jacket because I don't know it's just cute isn't it and it kind of makes college cute as well as comfy. Take my bag and I'm literally ready to go and have a really good productive day at college. Yay! everyone I really hope you enjoyed watching my school morning routine 2020 you guys loved my previous school morning routine so I thought I would do an updated one because it's kind of more relaxed now but also more fast paced I don't know if that makes sense but if you enjoyed then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so make sure you stay up to date. And speaking of staying up to date, you can stay up to date by following all of my social media, which is linked in the description box below. Also, please give this video a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed, because I want to reach 2,000 thumbs up on this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I think that's everything, and all that's left to say is I love you a lotty, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!